Hello everyone. Welcome back to OpenCV Python series. As we learn how to open, display and store image using OpenCV pip package in my previous video, here in this video I'm going to show you how you can capture video from live camera and store it to directory into your local storage. So let's start it. Video capture class of CV2 package used to capture video from live camera streams as well as from local video file. We need to create an object of it in our program. Its argument of constructor can be either device syntax or name of video file from local storage. Here, device index can be 0, 1, or minus 1 as per connected camera devices of your computer or IP address if you want to read from IP camera. Video Radio class of CV2 package used to write streamed video to directory frame by frame. We need to create an object of it in our program. It's having four argument in its constructor. The first argument is name of output file. An example output.mp4 the second argument is 4cc code third argument is frames per second you can say it fps and fourth argument is frame size 4cc code is 4 byte code used to specify video codec list of codes can be found from 4cc.org website 4cc code can be passed as cv 2 writer underscore 4cc and argument as an mjpg. Let's have a hands on it. Welcome to the coding screen. So here I have already written a program that's open up the and will camera up device and capture a video frame by frame and flip it 180 degree and store it to the current directory of program file so let's go through line by line of this program so first line defined here is importing the cv2 library so i import cv2 library to make our current program file access to all open cv functionalities the second line here is to import numpy after that the very first and important line is to creating an object of video capture class. So to capture a video from either IP camera or your internal device camera or getting it through the local storage, the video capture class is used. So I need to get the frame from my local device camera. So that's why I pass zero here. You can pass 0, 1 minus 1 as per your connected device IDs. Then I store that written object of this video capture class into kept name variable. So video capture class has one method that call is open that used to check whether it's in slide the video capture class successfully or not. We can call it through the object dot is open. And we can check whether it is in a slice the cap successfully or not. If it's not, then you can throw the message unable to read camera feed. Now, after video capture class capturing video from the source, we need to store that video frame by frame into the current directory. So the second most important class is video writer class. So as I saw one in Side of this video just a seconds before that video writer class has four arguments the first argument of it is the name of file you wanted to store as if i wanted to store it as outpy.avi now the second argument is four cc code of that video that means this is the product of your uh, platform supporting operating system 
if you are using mac os you are using windows or ubuntu or similar you can find that product of each of these operating system using 4cc.org website so my platform is mac os my platform supports mgpg codec the third argument here is fps they call frame per second so i passed it as 10 here the fourth argument here is the frame width and frame height in which you want to store the video so i want to store the video as it came from my camera frame height and width so the cap object that's created from the video capture class supports cat method that cat method is used here to cat the frame width and frame height so the frame width stored in third index and frame height stored into fourth index so i grabbed it and supplied it into the fourth argument of this video writer class and i store the written object into out name variable okay so after initializing video capture and video writer if you remember we wanted to go through frame by frame so if you wanted to go through something each of it then you can go through the loop or as always so here i'm going through the while loop and writing condition is true so it will run forever until it breaks some rule or we break it by break keyword so in it i define the read and frame as written by read method of video capture class so read method of video capture class used to read frame from connected device camera so i stored that frame into frame name variable and the first value written by this read method is the flag if it is true then it is successfully read frame from camera and if it is false then it it failed to read frame from the camera so you can use that read flag or boolean value like this if flag is true or if it is true then then only go through the frame because this below code is totally dependent on frame so if it is frame is not available then you cannot go through this code that's why i written here if frame is available so in that if loop i have defined the flip method and i'm going to flip frame that i got from the camera by 180 degree so my laptop has front camera so if i'm going to capture my video then it will be automatically flipped by minus 180 degree so i'm going to flip that back to 180 degree so i have written this code for that and after flipping a frame i'm going to write that frame into current directory as a uh, defined into video writer is stored in out variable and after that uh, flipping and writing a frame to the directory i'm going to show that frame to the user if you are seeing that frame and that means it's writing that frame into directory now most important code here is to break a loop so when i want to break a loop when user going to press q from the keyboard on frame name window and i wanted to break the loop so here the wait key is used to get key press event and uh, one is one millisecond so frame will be shown for the one millisecond and if the key pressed by the user as ascii value of q as alphabetical order then we are going to break the loop and we will get out of the while loop here the second break is written for else is of this if if you are not getting any frame then break the loop okay so most important thing is to release the video capture and we write it objects if you not release this object then that will be your trouble to successfully store this capture video to the directory so let's run this program by pressing function plus f5 in mac os So here will be output.
as you can see it is storing the frames of front camera now i'm going to minimize it if you close it by closing option of your operating system it will not going to close it will only close if you press q i'm going to press q okay and we wrote code to write that frame to the current directory so my this program is in opencv python directory so i'm going to check whether it has written successfully or not okay so yes here it is i'm going to play that video okay yes so as you can see i provided 10 fps and 10 fps bit low so that's why this video is little laggy here you can play with that fps variable and put the best shooter of your camera device to make it as fast as you want so that's all for today thank you guys for watching my video press like button and subscribe to my channel and hit bell icon to get notified about these OpenCV Python series upcoming videos.